Okay, good afternoon everybody. Joe here, K7JOE, and I'm working on a Kenwood TS520S. The symptom of the 520S was uh, low power output, only two or three watts, and I wasn't getting any indication on the RF meter. And so what we're going to do is we're going to explore a little bit about uh, what the repair okay, was. Okay, here we are looking inside the uh, final case. I've removed the fan for easy access, got the chassis of course off, and I've removed the two uh, 6146B tubes. And what I noticed was on this strip here, there was a resistor that had blown and a diode that had blown. And so what I'm doing is I'm replacing this resistor and this diode. And the reason for that diode and resistor blowing was probably this resistor here. That's normally a 10K resistor coming off the, t the bottom of the tank. And what uh, value that is currently when I ohmed it out was uh, 100 ohms. So it clearly has drifted low, and the result of drifting low has been overheating of this capacitor. You could see it basically has fried it, and there's a little bit of uh, barbecue debris on the on the uh, chassis there. And then the diode also, I've already removed the diode, and I've got laying in place there just a little germanium diode. I'm going to solder that back in place. Uh, in effect, once I get this repair done, we should get power output back both on our meter and uh, closer to 100 watts output, if the tubes are still good. Okay. Here's the uh, repair, and look at all those resistors. Basically, I built a bank of resistors to get my 10K at about 2 watts now. And then I have the resistor bank of 1K at about a half a watt. And that should work fine. And then I've got that germanium diode put in there. So we're going to test this and just see what it does. I'll be back. Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is uh, Joe, K7JOE, and i am uh, been working on a Kenwood hybrid transceiver, the venerable Kenwood TS520S, and uh, had a hard time with it. Uh, picked it up at a ham fest, did some trading, and the guy assured me that everything was perfect. And I got home and there was no RF output. No RF output indicated on the uh, RF meter. And so I uh, proceeded to uh, check things out. And it uh, seems that there is indeed some problem with the radio, so I'm going to go through that now, tell you a little bit about what I did to fix it. Okay, what we're looking at here is the Kenwood TS520S. The problem that I had with it was that in the RF position on the meter, I wasn't getting any kind of a meter deflection at all. I was seeing ALC, I was seeing plate current being drawn, but I wasn't getting any RF output. Um, in fact, when I was connected to the dummy load, I was only getting about 3 watts output on my external meter. But again, no indication on the RF meter. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to check over here on the side door. There is an adjustment called RF volts, and you adjust that. But that uh, gave no uh, indication at all of uh, any kind of adjustment. So there was a problem with the metering circuit. So we diagnosed the metering circuit problem, and we were able to successfully fix that. Okay, despite fixing the meter, we also ran into a problem with, even after the meter was repaired, we were getting no RF output. And uh, what I discovered was in addition to the blown diode and resistors that I had in the tank circuit, I also noticed that there was a capacitor, and you can see it if I zoom in, it's now a blue capacitor. A blue capacitor, there was a 100 microfarad, or 100 picofarad, sorry, capacitor that was in parallel to the tank circuit. And what I think was happening is that the tank circuit was short, shorting out and uh, uh, thus I wasn't able to get any output. So I haven't tested this yet, but I put a new capacitor in there. I had to disassemble the entire tank circuit, 
I put new finals in. I had neutralized the finals. And uh, anyway, we're ready to go now. So uh, power will be connected. We're going to fire this up. And we're going to see if we can get any kind of RF output out of this at all. Okay, and so here we have uh, everything is uh, loaded up now. Um, got uh, 60 milliamps on the plates when you go into the upper sideband position. That's the bias uh, right at 60, a uh, little bit shy of that, close enough. Uh, we've got uh, RF output now in the RF meter setting. Now when I, uh, when I uh, go into the CW position, I've got RF on the meter, RF output. Uh, of course, in the tune position, you'll get a little bit also. Um, and as we come over here, we're going to look at our power meter here and what kind of output power do we have. Well, we're set in the 200-watt uh, scale here. And if you look here, it goes 40, 80, 120. So look at the upper scale on the left. Uh, the right needle is the SWR, the left needle is power, and here we go, uh, let's just double check our current here. Our plate current is 220 mils, 220 mils on the plate, and at 220 mils, let's see, what is our high voltage, by the way? Our high voltage is uh, about 800 volts, so 800 times 220 is 1640 uh, input watts, 1640 uh, uh, input watt, no, 164 input watts, what am I saying, 164 input watts. Uh, our output power here, um, here we go, we're at uh, 110, uh, about about 105 watts there, bang, right on the money. So 225 mils, uh, 105 watts. And of course, these are brand new RCA tubes that I did put in. Those are date code, whoops, that <laughs> I just hit that, uh, that uh, uh, heat, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the dummy load. And <laughs> that dummy load case is a little bit warm. It startled me. No, that wasn't high voltage. Yes, I'm going to put the cover back on the uh, chassis here. Always safety. You'll notice I don't get close to that at all, uh, ever. Uh, I leave that uh, just because I wanted to observe the uh, the glow of the tubes to see what they were doing. Anyway, uh, brand new RCA tubes, uh, date code 1964. Uh, seemed to be just fine. No gas that I can see. No need for gathering. We did neutral. I did neutralize it. Uh, and if you see there, there's the neutralization adjustment down there underneath the uh, uh, that is the uh, uh, tune uh, plate tune um, uh, capacitor there. Anyway, okay, so this old bird lives a 1979 uh, Kenwood TS 520 S, and uh, this is the best one in my opinion. It's got 160 meters. It's got the veneer drive for the plate tuning, and in this particular model, I've got both the CW and the sideband filters. Okay, this is Joe K7JOE. Thanks for hanging out with me today and helping me get this old boat anchor equipment back on the air. By the way, I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm a finance and accounting guy. I just learned this thanks to the internet, thanks to the wonderful folks over on QRZ and uh, the guys on the mailing list. I was able to get this done. Okay, 7-3, have a good day. I'm going to go on the air.